In the vast history of aviation, there are certain aircrafts that defy convention and capture our imagination. One such marvel was the Vought V-173, famous as the Flying Pancake. Imagine a flattened, disc-shaped contraption defying gravity with its unorthodox design. How did this peculiar pancake take to the air, and what secrets did it hold? Let's explore the captivating story of the Vought V-173, a legendary aircraft that forever left its mark on the world of flight. Join me as we embark on an extraordinary journey where innovation took flight and forever changed the course of aviation. It was during the 1930s, a time when the aviation industry was seeing tremendous growth and development. During this time, engineers and inventors from all over the globe were working to design aircrafts that were faster and consumed less fuel. And in the middle of all this action, the Vought V-173, also known as the Flying Pancake, appeared and immediately captured the imagination of everyone. The interesting thing about this was not only its design, but the speed at which it flew. The infamous airplane was known to fly at almost a snail's speed. But who was the person behind the legendary invention? Well, it all started when the brilliant aeronautical engineer Charles H. Zimmerman, otherwise referred to as the father of the modern airplane, dared to challenge the traditional view of aircraft design. Zimmerman was of the idea that better performance, stability, and maneuverability might be achieved by giving the aircraft a shape similar to a circle or a disc. The mental picture of a pancake being cooked in a frying pan served as the incentive for him to go on a quest to create an aircraft that defied all of the traditional conventions. He was utterly oblivious to the fact that the concept he had would one day be regarded as a classic example of ingenuity and would leave an indelible imprint on the annals of aviation history. In those days, conventional aircraft designs reigned supreme with their streamlined fuselage and traditional wings cutting through the air like a knife through butter. But the Vought V-173 had the audacity to challenge the convention with its circular design resembling a flattened pancake suspended in midair. The ambitious engineers at Vought Aircraft Company were intent on pushing the limits of what was possible and looking for a revolutionary shape that would permanently transform flying. As the plans took form, a hush fell over the hangar where the V-173 was being born. Rumors circulated among the team whispers of skepticism and uncertainty. Its one-of-a-kind configuration had a short and squat fuselage, a thick circular wing, and two propellers positioned at the wingtips. The propellers of the V-173 were turned by a convoluted gearing system driven by an unorthodox radial engine. How could an aircraft without a distinct fuselage and separate wings possibly take flight? Doubt tinged the air, challenging the ambitious minds behind this audacious creation. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months as the team poured their hearts and souls into the V-173's development. With every setback, their determination only grew stronger. They refined their design, painstakingly perfecting every curve and contour. Suspense hung in the air as they wondered if their creation would ever take flight or if it would remain a mere curiosity, an eccentricity in the annals of aviation history. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. On November 23, 1942, the Vought V-173 made its first voyage as part of a series of test flights. The V-173 was ready to defy the laws of gravity, to rise above the doubts and reservations that had plagued its creation. The aircraft stood poised on the runway, its flat body and stubby wings casting long shadows in the fading light of the setting sun. As the engine roared to life, tension mounted in the air. Would this flying pancake soar triumphantly or crumble under the weight of skepticism. And then, against all odds, the flying pancake took flight. The whole world stopped what they were doing to stare in awe as the jet glided through the air with such grace and poise. The sky was no longer the limit. It was a playground for innovation and human imagination. Its enormous power was in no way hinted at by its odd design, which gave no clue of what it could perform. The V-173 showed very high levels of stability and mobility, and it was able to take off and land while moving at very low speeds on both occasions, and did both without sustaining any damage. The Vought V-173 had made its mark, permanently carving itself into the legacy of aviation as a tribute to the force of unrestrained creativity and the unyielding spirit of those who dared to dream. When it comes to the realm of aviation, there aren't many aircraft designs that have been able to captivate people's imaginations as much as the Vought V-173. However, what distinguishes this aircraft from others is not simply its unusual form. Instead, it is its tremendous 
tremendous impact on the development of aviation in the years to come. In terms of its superior flying characteristics, the V-173 set new benchmarks for other aircraft to follow. The plane moved through the air with an elegance that had never been seen before, drawing the attention of aviation fans as well as industry experts. Because of the large amount of lift generated by its round wing, it could fly at speeds as low as 25 miles per hour. This capability would be highly beneficial in a broad number of military and civilian applications. In addition to this, the shape of the plane reduced the amount of drag, making the aircraft exceptionally maneuverable and resistant to stalling. As the Second World War continued, it became abundantly evident that the V-173 had the potential to be used in a number of military scenarios. One such context was the invasion of Normandy. It was an ideal candidate for carrier-based operations due to the fact that it was able to land on makeshift airstrips and take off from short runways. In addition to this, the fact that it could travel at low speed speeds placed upon it a level of mobility in the heat of combat that had never been seen before. The round wing form of the V-173, together with the aircraft's small fuselage and wingtip mounted propellers, contributed to the aircraft's unequaled agility and stability. It was able to take off and land at prolonged rates, which positioned it as a significant innovator in low-speed flight, which it helped to pioneer. This ability set it apart from other aircraft in the industry. Let's take a closer look at the Vought V-173's technical characteristics. The plane's length was 26 feet and 8 inches, and its height was 9 feet and 9 inches. The wingspan of the aircraft was 23 feet 4 inches. The Continental A82 engine that it was powered by was capable of generating 80 horsepower. Because of its one-of-a-kind construction, the V-173 could reach a top speed of 85 miles per hour and maintain a cruising speed of 68 miles per hour. It had a maximum service ceiling of 15,000 feet and a maximum range of 220 miles when fully operational. During its carrier testing in 1944, the Vought V-173 was stationed on the USS Bunker Hill to ensure it could withstand the rigors of the environment. The importance of the aircraft was proved by its ability to effectively complete takeoffs and landings with an exceptional degree of precision. Nevertheless, in spite of the positive results, the military made the decision to shift its focus onto jet-powered aircraft and the V-173 was relegated to the annals of history as a result. Before we move on to the Flying Pancake's impact on aviation, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss out on the latest and greatest in the world of luxury. The V-173's impact casts a long shadow on aviation's future influencing subsequent design development. The lessons learned from its unconventional shape and groundbreaking engineering laid the foundation for a new era of innovation. Its groundbreaking idea sparked the imaginations of future engineers and designers, influencing the development of following aircraft designs. When we consider the daring ingenuity of Charles H. Zimmerman, we can't help but think of this full-scale model of the Vought V-173. Because of his foresight and doggedness, the trajectory of aviation history was altered, and the Flying Pancake will long stand as a tribute to the transformative potential of the invention. People passionate about aviation go from all over the globe to awe at the V-173, which has played an essential role in developing aircraft design. It is a valuable reminder that sometimes the most out there ideas may lead to groundbreaking accomplishments. If you want to know about more such innovations and experiments from the world of aeronautics, click here to see what happened to ring-wing planes. See you there in a second.